I'm Zoe Penny Baker Breen, and it's been uh, quite a few months since I've graced the television screen, but I'm back here on WVVH TV, and I'm very excited tonight because I am at Ashwa Hall, which is in Springs in East Hampton. And if you haven't been to Ashwa Hall for a weekend exhibit, they're fantastic. You have to come out here. There's always something fun here and, and beautiful to look at in Ashwa Hall. But tonight, my paintings are up, so I'm really excited to have all of Ashwa Hall filled with my paintings, and I'm excited to bring it to you because it only will stay up for two more days, but through WVVH TV, I can share it with so many more viewers and it can last so much longer. So this is really exciting. So stay tuned right here on WVVH TV, Hamptons Television. Let's go around and talk about some of the pieces and um, you can enjoy them too at home from your couch <laughs> or wherever you might be watching this. Okay, so obviously it's so beautiful out here, the landscapes. I'm inspired on a daily, hourly basis um, by the colors and, and um, the light out here. I think we are all, all so lucky to enjoy the landscape and the light that, that we have out here. Um, this may not be the light that you normally see, but it was kind of fun to kind of experiment with brighter, flashier, wild colors, but also add a softness to it. So although it's bright, it's soft. Um, I just did this painting a couple days ago, so it was kind of fun. And I work with acrylic. I work with acrylic paint for a number of reasons. Um, first and foremost, I work with acrylic paints because I paint in my house and it's really important for me to have non-toxic paints or as non-toxic as, as you can, um, as can be for, for my children. I have my children run around and they experience my art and they experience me painting. So to have acrylic paint, I feel really lucky because it dries fast, I have great colors and it's also non-toxic for them. So they can enjoy the spirit of art and life together. It's not a separate, they can, they can live it with me and I can be home with them. They're very young, so I can be home with them. And I think acrylic paints, I use a lot of golden paints and they're, the colors are just vibrant and, and they last. And um, so I'm really happy with acrylics. Although I hear once you go oil, you never go back, but we'll see, maybe one day. Um, this is a wonderful um, painting to me because I used to live in Springs and I used to drive, um, Three Mile Harbor Road as many times as I could because Springs Fireplace, although gets you there faster, is not as beautiful as Three Mile Harbor Road. So there is definitely the harbor seeped into my soul, my consciousness, and um, this came out. It also, also I try to drive to, I drive to Noyak a lot, and this could also be that bridge from Sag Harbor to Noyak. But anyway, it's the, the, the movement, my movement against the, um, the tranquility. So I'm kind of moving, rushing to do my things, my daily things, but it's the tranquility that I'm watching as I'm racing by and feel. I think there's such a beauty of a tranquility that you can kind of feel even though you're racing around. Um, this to me, there's a tranquilness within that. So. This is my son, Jack. So say hi to the camera. Look hi. The camera. Hi, say, hi. what's your name? Jack. Jack, how old are you? Four. Four. Do you like that mommy paints? Uh-huh. You like coming in and seeing mommy's paintings? Yeah. You're a very good painter, too. Yes. Do you like painting yourself? Yeah. Do you have a favorite painting in this room? Well, my favorite painting is the one that, ha that has the blue sky with the... With with the yellow on it over there. Oh, that is a nice one. It makes you feel good? Yes. It always makes me feel good when I see you. <laughs> so nice. You having fun? I'm gonna do this little show, okay? So anyway, so I rework a lot of my paintings. I kind of do them and I come back to them. And this was a painting that was completely different and right before the show I, I changed it. And there's a little bit of city behind it, but I, I put that kind of red spot that I hate to really say what things mean in my paintings because I believe people should, you want to be on TV too? I think people should take from it what they feel. But, you know, I think 
it's part of my heart. You know, my heart goes into a lot of these paintings. So a little bit of that red is kind of the love that goes into it. And wait, this is Dashiell. And Dashiell, you, Dashiell wants to be on TV too. You want to say hi? Hi. Do you like that mommy paints? Mm-hmm. Do you like mommy's paintings? Uh-huh. Are you having fun at Ashwa Hall? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> say wave to the camera. Say WVVH TV. WHDV. That's close enough. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the rest of the show, okay, you guys? And then we'll hang, okay? There's a couple paintings in here that um, they are the... What, I, what, I, what happened with them um, while I was painting them is the reason I paint. There's a, a magic that sometimes occurs when you're painting. You're, you go into a painting, you go into your studio and you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know if you're gonna have a really bad day. You don't know if you're having the most amazing day. But sometimes you start painting and all of a sudden you step back and you've created something that you love and you're done and you're finished and you love it and you, you're so excited and it makes your whole day. I'm not going to talk about the other days where you can't get the painting and it ruins your whole day, but this is one of those paintings that I just moved to it, started painting in this crazy, frantic, wild way, and this came out of it. I mean, it's like, I, it was as if somebody else had done it in front of me. I was that, I was that, I was, not that I was detached, but I was almost so in a trance that you, you, Every part of you kind of stops. All that ego, all that stuff stops. And something creative comes out and takes over and creates these paintings. And so when you come out of the trance, you go, oh my God, look, I made this, I made this. And it, it make, it's really fun. That's why I paint. So that's a really fun painting for me. This is another one where I felt like um, it just happened wildly and, and, and magically. But I think it's really important to talk about this. My paintings, I don't ever try to make perfect paintings. I don't ever try to make neat paintings. And I think that some people do, and I really respect that because I can't do that. My paintings are wild and frantic and sometimes calm with a little bit of wild or movement and t absolutely not perfect um, because I don't feel perfect and I feel like it's important for me to make a painting that's, rep that's a bit of me goes into it. And um, I like when they're not perfect. I like when they're a little bit messy. I think life's a little bit messy. <laughs> I think it's not that it's messy. I think that it's, um, it's not defined. It's not perfectly, uh, painted in with, with precision. I think it's wild and, and movement and energy, but, it's, but there's perfection within that imperfection, if, you can, if that makes sense. Like life, nothing in life is perfect, but there's perfection in, in, in that imperfection. Yeah, all of them, definitely. Especially that, um, I, I think the movement, reflects me when you're when you're going by something and I love when I see movement I can see it in in um, sometimes I'll even see it in, in films when there there's movement in, in the camera or when you're driving or when you're walking we're all moving so much and I think that that interests me that movement of light and energy this is very different um, and I felt it was very important to put it in the show it's not a beautiful piece and and um, but it was so much fun to make. I took the canvas and I started working the canvas and I had this idea that I wanted to put chicken wire. I guess it's kind of a sculpture, one step before creating sculpture. But I had this idea I wanted to put chicken wire and staple the chicken wire and I really wanted to get in in a gritty way into my art. So this kind of came out of it and, and I was working so frantically and all of a sudden I stepped away and I realized there was a face and um, it's, a, it's a hard, side and then the other side if you look past all the yellow there's a sunrise or a sunset so there's there's happiness maybe it's kind of a dark moment but in the distance there's there's something beautiful back there so anyway I, a lot of people said no you, you probably don't want to put that one in there because it's not so beautiful to look at but i think it's important to put all of your work in that that you know that means something to you and this one means a lot to me because it was um a lot of me went into it. 
was. I think it was just a moment of frustration. I think I had some frustration. Sometimes it's frustrating. You, you have all these paintings. I think this is sort of part of what went into this painting. You have these paintings and how do I get them out there? How do I get people to see them? How do I get, and there was like, when I was thinking about it, I was like, I've got to, you know, get my work out there. It's just sitting here. And I think that was a moment of frustration, I think, went in one, there. To me, he speaks a lot of emotion. Yeah. And so I, that's why I asked the question, is there some aspect of what was happening contemporaneously with you that day or within that yeah. week or so that provoked this surge of energy, dark and light? Darkness, brightness, which is, that dark? I'm of, glad you see that. which is an expression of hope in a way, too, because yeah. sometimes when things are dark for us, us humans, there's always that great potential of lightness. And there is the hope, and it's, and it's right there, and I absolutely had that feeling of, yeah. like, there is something, you know, there is, but I, I think it was frustration with getting my work out there and, and, and people seeing, not just seeing the pretty paintings, but also I wanted to put a painting out there that wasn't pretty, but this That's is very important. this Picasso's very... Picasso's work is all ugly, almost. <laughs> but also the chicken wire. Yeah. To me, the chicken wire is like being in, is a, imprisoned. Yes. So you somehow, there you were locked up and yeah. you put that wire in to yeah. express your and feeling you are, of... And it, you know, if, you're, if your work isn't getting out there, you feel kind of trapped. You really right. need to get your work out there. And it was like, get me out. Get my work out of here. Right. Get my work out there into the public. Yeah, so it's getting out world. now on WVVH TV. That's why I'm so excited that you, you're filming this because it's a local station, it's a local station WVVH. It's the Hamptons Television, okay. the station of the Hamptons. And um, it's so great to be able to have my work live on through WVVH TV. Behind me is a, a tranquil moment that many, many um, artists have captured the beauty out here and they capture it in such different ways. So it's, 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 so, it's so fun to see landscapes done out here. So many people do them differently. Um, this, I was just having a conversation with a gentleman and we were talking about how there's no um, defining line uh, between the sky and the sea. And for me, during the time that I was sitting there looking out at the, the bay before I painted this, that, that's what I felt. So I think that some of the feeling went into this painting, not only visual, but emotional feeling and, and how I felt staring out at the ocean. And then the sky is really um, important. I do a, a, bit, a big wave, kind of a, uh, a dip in my sky because I think that the sky is, it, may, it feels so large here and so kind of all around you. So it, instead of just having it be, go straight across kind of vertical clouds, I see them kind of wisping up in, in a circular motion. And that makes, makes, that's how I feel when I look up at the sky. This is, um, all of these paintings, by the way, I did, they're 2009, 2010 paintings. So I did, this is kind of a culmination of my year. Um, and this is a style I used to do a lot um, of, and I think that um, there's a lot of reflection in this, um, and darkness, but also lightness, and um, the reflection down here came up a lot in these kind of paintings, and I use a, um, a gel. So it kind of moves the paint. I can kind of get a thickness, which is, I love texture. And there's a lot of texture on this painting. It's not a smooth, clean line. It's got um, rough spots and textures and lumps. And, and, and um, again, not, no perfection here. There's, there's just um, lots of little, um, lots of texture. And also movement. I think that this captures movement too, so. It's hard to really explain a painting because I think that I like when people take from it what they what they feel. It's always so different. But um, this one, I got the thickness with um, using gel. It was it, it allowed me to move and, and create a, a great texture. No, I, you know I think of it when I look at it. I really hate to say this, but when I look at it, I think of it as. Um, Almost, some, you're looking at something in the distance, but you can't quite grasp it. Um, but you're, you're looking off into the distance, and there's almost like a little bit of a fog or something that doesn't allow you, whether you're moving fast by land on a boat or in a car, or you're staring off, there's something in the distance, so.
Now we've moved on to this painting. I just did this, actually, I finished this yesterday, and most of my paintings I try to do in one, um, just one, I try to visit it once. Sometimes I've learned going back, it will change the whole painting, but I do rework paintings, I do. But I try not to a lot of times. But this one, I reworked probably about three times. I, I sent emails to <laughs> family asking them, what do you think now, am I done yet? And I reworked it and reworked it and I came out with this and it was really fun to do this because I felt it was so warm and um, I almost felt like it was like uh, glowing lights um, and there was a real warmth that, that came out of this when I look at it, it, it feels so warm. And then these little fish tails kind of came out and I think they really made the painting come together. Um, and it was really fun blending it. Um, I really practice, I'm self-taught, so everything I do, it's kind of, I'm, I'm teaching and learning and, and um, while I'm painting. So this was really fun finding that, um, taking the brush and really moving the color in to get um, that warmth and that shade and blending. It was really fun working this. Yet there's kind of dark behind, some dark lines behind. It was fun. I enjoyed it, and I just did it the other day, and that's the other benefit of acrylics, is you can paint a painting and put it in a show in a couple hours. <laughs> I did finishing touches on this this morning, so. <laughs> but it's done, now it's done, I think. Somebody was just saying how there was this, there's depth with the black in the corner here, and, and it was actually interesting when I was painting that, I had a blue, just a blue cube there, and it just wasn't happening with the painting. I, I think you probably saw it. And then I added black, and then it, with the white, and it suddenly became something, and I said, oh, that's an important part of that painting. I have to leave that. And of course it went through having outline boxes and then taking the outline off and having it again. And then you kind of, I found this middle, this middle place where I outlined some of them, but then I didn't outline others. So it's interesting. Okay, this one back here is really exciting because it was this one right here behind me. Okay. I love this one. I have a special love for this one. I um, I was covered from head to toe in paint after this painting. I mean, every uh, it was so much fun. And I think that, again, this is why I paint. I came out of some kind of frantic trance, and I had this painting. And I felt so lucky um, because it's got so much going on. And it, it was really a journey. It was a journey. And I came out of the journey with this, and it, it's just there's no no feeling like it, um, on a creative level, to be working so passionately and 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 you know, energetically and and to come out with something that you really like and you know is done and it's finished, and you have paint all over you. It's it's just a really great feeling. So somebody over here was just saying, what's your name by the way? David. David Weinstein. David, thank you so much. This, this is great because I don't have anyone. To I love your take on the paintings. It's really fun. Anyway, he was saying how it's a cityscape, and yes, I think it, it definitely is a city. I mean, but it started out as a seascape, and it, it, it turned into this. So that's what was very exciting, what it, the process and what it turned into. And I had to, I think one of the things that really amazes me and what I've learned about being an artist is that you have to take chances, and sometimes those chances pay off, and sometimes those chances ruin paintings. But I had to take a chance many times with this painting and do these lines, but I just went somewhere and just let myself be free, and I let go of worrying, and I let go, and I came out with this. And every line kind of paid off, and I wouldn't take a single line off. And I somehow stopped before there were too many. I felt like too many, and I just was able to stop just in time. But I had to take a chance with every black line that's on there. You know, I really took a chance from the first moment I started putting black on, on this painting. Um, it was a very blue painting with green and red and beautiful light colors. And I just went for black and gray. So, I mean, I took a chance there. But it's so exciting when you take a chance and they pay off. So this was a, this was a painting that just paid off. And I, I, just the joy I felt when I finished it was pay off enough. The next painting we're looking at is a painting that I, this is one of my favorite, favorite paintings. And I hesitate to say that because, um, you know, people look at things differently when you say, oh, it's your favorite or what you see. But for me, um, this reminds me of a wet day. 
It's kind of wet, rainy, um, and, and I, I'm seeing, I have boats in it, and I don't know if you're seeing boats, there are boats, but they're hard to see and they can be anything. Um, and I think it was the first time I used a brown, I think I used it before, but it was like one of the first time I really worked with brown as the back, background and kind of built up from there. And it was just a really exciting painting to do because I, I felt like this side is, there's not much happening and there's a lot, ha there's more happening on this side, but it kind of works between the two. And there's, it, it just, I came away and I was like, I'm done. I finished it and it worked. A lot of times, you know, you don't always, every day you don't always get to have a painting that works and you're done and, and you come away with that feeling of, wow, I did it. I made something. Sometimes you have to leave one unfinished, which is kind of a crazy feeling. Um, but so it's nice when they finish. And I'm this painting is very different from that other paintings yep. because there's a kind of a lusciousness to it. The others are, this has a softness and the colors merge. It's sort of a and, rainy day. Yeah, and it's, there's a fuzziness in it. Yeah. So uh, this might be more of a reflection of your inner self than the others, which are more, uh, even though they're abstract, they're more representational. This is a merging of colors with softness, yeah. This one I definitely, I, I really enjoy looking at this one. I keep this one um, close to me and I, I enjoy it. This painting, I love it, even though it has kind of a childlike um, feeling to it. There's something that really happened on this painting, and I, and I worked on it for a while. It was completely different, but I came out of it, and I just, I really am enjoying this painting. I just did it the other day, um, right before the show, and I'm really happy with it. It has this feeling of joy um, and energy and um, beauty to me when I look at it. I love it. There is no name. <laughs> it's it's number 15. <laughs> just no names, just numbers. Um, this one is, OK, this one's interesting um, because it started out as a painting. Um, sometimes with some landscapes, I don't think I have any in this show, but with landscapes, I'll use, um, I'll use very straight lines. And I'll use tape to get some very straight lines, um, painter's tape. And this started out one of those paintings with very defined lines. And each, each color had its own defined line, and there was no messiness. And all of a sudden, I kind of did one thing down here that was kind of messy. And I said, OK, well, now I've got to just work this whole painting. And, and there's this messiness to it. But I really liked that, the messiness. Something about it was full of energy and, and, um, and joy. So I'm enjoying this one. This one's nice. And this one is number 16. <laughs> no names yet. Um, okay, so we talked a lot about um, using, um, that I used wire in, in that other painting, I used wire. Um, and so in this one, I rolled the wire over it, which was really fun. Um, I did the painting, and then I just p p put the wire on it and kind of rolled it down over it and got a nice shape, and then did a nice little egg shape. Um, and came out with this. It was the middle of winter. I don't know if it, you could tell. <laughs> but um, it's interesting to me. Um, again, it's, there's, there's nothing defined in it, and there's no, nothing you're going to see, but it's more of just an emotion and a feeling. So that's that one. And that one's number, un, no number, 17. <laughs> This is um, another painting that I took a chance on. I took a chance with all these little brown lines. And that was, um, you know, when you see it out, it's done. But when you're in there taking a painting and you're going to put lines on it, you're taking a chance. And I took a chance with this, and the lines really worked out. But um, I think that it's, it's, really important, um, it's really important for me that I, even though I have kids, and I dedicate so much of my time with my kids that I also have that time to myself that I can paint and be passionate and, and, and get that out of my system. Whatever it is that I'm doing, um, get that out and get that on canvas. And I, I hope that people, some people watching this show who have put their canvases and paints away um, for kids or because they're at work or for a busy schedule might take them out again and and just do a little bit just start start somewhere 
Um, even if you've never picked up a, a paintbrush and paint, I hope that you will try. Go down to Golden Eagle, my favorite art store, and, and try it. Try something on a creative level. Go buy, you know, go start taking some creative pictures, um, photographs. Um, I think it's such a wonderful, I feel so lucky that I found it. I found it after um, I'd had my first child and I found it late. I thought I wanted to be a photographer and I found painting later in life after I'd had one child and was having a second. Um, but I grasped onto it because it was so exciting and such a wonderful experience to have. Um, and I just wanted to get better and better and paint as many as I can could. And even though I was a young, or I had young children, I knew I had to make that time. And I would get up in the middle of the night, I would wake up at four in the morning, and I just made that time. And. Um, and now I paint, I've, I think I might have said this and I tell people this all the time, I paint in my house with acrylic paints and my children are such a part of my creative process and they feel, they feel like life and art can exist and it's not separate and mommy doesn't go away to do her art and I do it at home and I can be there and enjoy them and enjoy, hear their laughing in the background while I'm painting a painting. What's better than that? <laughs> so, they, so the children enhance uh, yeah. your work and give you energy. Oh, yeah, the giggles that I hear while I'm painting, it's just right. pure joy. That's so uh, That's I hope... a lot of moms should hear, yeah. that children can add to their creativity rather than drain it away. Absolutely, absolutely. And you just have to say, you know what? This is important enough. I'm going to make time. And then you'll get addicted. <laughs> once you start once you start making that time and, and doing that painting, you, you just... I think with passion comes energy. And when you're very passionate, you have this amazing amount of energy that that bubbles forth and and um, as you can see I I my kids are still very young but I still made time to get in there and and do these canvases it's great that you can uh, combine being a, a good and loving mom and a great artist and that you acknowledge that somehow the children instead of detracting from your creative process have added to it so that's really wonderful so wait, let me get your name again david weinstein thank you so much for coming down to the show what did you get from this well i i, I found it inspirational as i told you i was a lawyer and i'm retired and i'm now a writer so originally i i wanted to listen to what you had to say about your work just to see what i could glean from myself in terms of the creative process and what i liked most about what you had to say is your looseness in other words, you're not uptight about what you're doing. Yeah. And that probably really adds to what you produce yeah. uh, in a very wonderful way. So that's great, yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Do you get out to Ashwa Hall much? I, well, I only live about two miles from here. And so uh, I get here very often. And I love it in the winter when the, the windows are all glowing. Mm -hmm. And you know there's a show here. Right. And you can come in. It's cozy. And all the people you see. Yeah. Well, actually, and some of your work, particularly the painting in the small room, yeah reminded me of where I now spend my winters, which is not here in the springs, but in Mexico, on the South Pacific coast, where they have the most sensational sunsets. You should probably someday go there because it would really inspire you to paint. Uh, but in any event, your, your work and one, one of the pieces in the small room, that very warm, hot piece, took me back to Mexico where I was this past winter on the beach great. yeah that's great I mean that's that's a huge part of getting your work out there my dad always said get your painting isn't done until it's out there being seen and if you have right. to hang it on your fence at home in front of like, the road right. then do that because you've got to get your work out there sure. and I think it's so important yeah, so exactly. I'm trying but it's right. so it, it pays off when I can put my work out there and people like you come in and, and yeah. really enjoy it so thank you well I'm so grateful that I happened to stop by and see your work, and it was nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming, and thanks for joining me here on WVVH-TV Hamptons Television. Don't forget to visit Ashwa Hall. There's always something fun going on here. I recommend it highly. <laughs> and don't forget to get your fix of WVVH-TV Hamptons Television every day. Bye. Okay.